Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I as always am Riz Grestar and this is another death battle reaction, All Might vs My Guy. So of course make sure to click on the link in the description below to go to the official release first, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, watch that there, and then come back here and we'll watch it together. So All Might vs My Guy, here's my experience with the two anime. Naruto, I watched all of the original series and like the first 50 episodes, episodes of Shippuden. And then with My Hero Academia, I'm like a third, a fourth, I don't know, some way through season four. So I am behind and I, I do really enjoy the anime, but I just I just didn't finish it yet. And I, I need to get on that, but I haven't yet. So hopefully there aren't like huge, huge spoilers in here. But since it's for All Might, figuring there probably won't be because I feel like his story or like he he's already past his peak potential, right? Um, but um, if you watched my last reaction, uh, Deadpool versus The Mask, I said, like, All Might has to win, right? And I'm thinking, like, yeah, right? Like, because he is the top hero, or he was, the number one hero in a world of superheroes and supervillains. And I know that Naruto gets pretty crazy, but, like, does, does My Hero Academia not get just as crazy, if not more? I mean, okay, so th this is me, like, doing my, like, pre-analysis prediction kind of talk. I'm not predicting yet, but I'm just explaining my thoughts. Um, like, I know Naruto does get even crazier because I remember stuff with the moon comes into play, but that was just with, like, Naruto himself and, like, those kinds of people. I, I, I thought that similarly, my guy had reached his peak, you know, by that point, you know, like, before then, and so I didn't think that he was doing any sort of, like, planetary kind of stuff. And so, if that's the case, then the stuff I would think that he'd be doing, All Might does, like, all the time and with ease, but I don't know. So, um, I really have to wait to see if there's more about All Might that I just haven't learned yet. Um, and, or, or if I do understand, like, his capabilities up to this point. Um, but then more than that, I need to learn about Guy himself and see if there is, like, big stuff that I'm missing. Um, cause I really can't make a prediction until I know more about what he's capable of, because right now I'm just trying to compare the two worlds, and honestly, Naruto's world does get more intense later on, whereas earlier I'd say My Hero, Ag My Hero Academia is more intense, you know, in terms of, like, the power scaling or whatnot. Um, but I don't know how far Might Guy followed that power scaling within the Naruto universe. So that's what's holding me back right now. Um, but can't really say anything more until we actually watch this episode. So with that, let's get to watching. Let's be real. Superheroes with super strength are like rabbits. They're everywhere. Yeah. But when a hero uses that strength to inspire others, they truly stand out from the crowd. Like All Might, the symbol of peace yeah. from My Hero Academia. And Might Guy, master of ninja combat and bushy brows yes. from Naruto. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job. And don't to get me wrong, I love my guy. I mean, I mostly like Rock battle. Lee, but like through him, I like guy. <laughs> Imagine a world where superpowers. But it just are seems like All Might's more powerful. So-called quirks, which can be trained at distinguished academies in hopes of becoming a superhero. I know what you're thinking. If everyone's got a power, then no one is super. Not everyone has a Except superpower. Most really lame, yeah. Like a balloon face or stretchy eyeballs. <laughs> You. Yeah. Even then, there are some unlucky few who don't have any quirk at all. You may already know one of these quirkless, Izuku Midori. I do. But before him, not personally, of course, but one who would change the world. His name is Toshinori Yagi. It's weird Toshinori seeing him with like eyes like that. <laughs> Even without a superpower, he wanted to become the symbol of peace. And thanks to pro hero Nana Shimura, he found a way. Shimura's quirk had the unique ability to be directly passed on to a new user. Yes. And she saw something special in Toshinori. And so, he became the next bearer of One for All. Yay! An ultra powerful quirk that let him become that. It's a really good anime if you haven't watched it. Smile on his face. I, like I said, I still need to finish it, but yeah. I am here! Now a truly remarkable hero, All Might quickly rose through the local rankings. But fame wasn't the reward he sought. He legitimately just wanted to help people. Yeah. yeah, just look at that big old grin. That's not just for show. He keeps his smile up to make sure the people around him feel safe. And with his well, powers, so it is for show. They? All Might can punch <laughs> with enough force to change the weather, even creating a massive storm once. It's raining. Holy crap. He changed the weather. He can jump so high, people mistake him for flying. You might say they're taking a flying leap in logic. 
But along with super strength, one for all includes powers like improved durability, stamina, and speed. All Might has no problem taking huge hits and fighting villainy in the blink of an eye. That's right. And thanks to his training at UA High School, All Might molded his quirk into an incredible fighting style. With moves named after the United States. For some and reason, yeah. This dude was Japanese. Well, it's likely a nod to how the U.S. essentially created the modern superhero, like Superman. Oh. America's got a sort of superhero monopoly going on. Uh, if I had a quirk like that, I'd name my moves after food. <laughs> California rolls! Oh my god, it worked! Going for two! <laughs> Lobster roll! Why lo ah! <laughs> Anyway, Fair there's enough. a ton of different smashes in All Might's arsenal, covering all sorts of states and cities, from Nebraska Which doesn't to really Detroit tell us anything the about their capabilities, and but most whatever. most of their names actually do describe their results to a certain extent. Well, I don't understand example, it then. his Texas and Oklahoma smashes both create variations of tornadoes. And those two states oh. are smack dab in the crossfire of real-life Tornado Alley. Coincidence? Probably not. Of course, many Incredible, of his attacks create uh... targeted gusts of wind, but every smash does have its own unique form of delivery, hmm. such as how the Missouri smash is a karate chop, and the New Hampshire smash is a reverse attack meant to send All Might rocketing through the air. Oh. But he's got one mega-sized move that goes beyond all that, or as he calls it, Plus Ultra, the United States of Smash! Cause I'm proud to be an American <laughs> Man, he just oh, beat up Deku right there. It's Japanese. America, God, United States, a motherfucking smash up. <laughs> to determine the power of this epic blow, let's find fun the song. volume of the resulting whirlwind like by comparing its size to the nearby buildings. Applying the standard height of three meters per floor, the whirlwind appears to be at least 2,200 meters tall, giving okay. it a volume of over 10 billion cubic meters. I see. To create a tornado that large, All Might Strike must have equaled a force of over 11,000 tons of TNT. 11,000 tons of TNT, That's got insane. it. insane! He's got the power of an atomic bomb in his bare fist! He's also fast enough to run down this stairway in less than half a second, a feat which, given the distance measured, means he can move 29 times faster than sound. He's in the same league as the supervillain Gigantomachia, who blew up a mountain, and he punched this Nomu guy so hard, he pulled a team rocket. Yeah. Looks like Nomu's <laughs> blasting up again! With so much power, All Might remained the number one hero for years. Unfortunately, success doesn't last forever. Yeah, he got into a fight that was a bit bigger than even he could handle, and got injured pretty bad. Yeah. So bad, in fact, it became difficult for him to use his powers, and drastically limited his full strength. But hey, don't worry, for death battle, we look at each character I was gonna say, at their peak, yeah. across their whole life. Right, when fighting Nomu, All Might claimed that what he pulled off in 300 punches, he could have previously done with just five. Back in my oh. heyday, five hits would have been enough to knock that guy out. But today, it took more than 300 mighty blows. Taken literally, wow. this means All Might at his best was 60 times more powerful. But even as a crippled old man, he held on to the number one spot for a long time. He did. Not because he was taking out more bad guys than the competition, but because he was just so goddamn heroic. At least until he could find a new successor with a smile on his face. A shining example of what it means to be a true hero, just like himself. Aww. Yay. Usually they have in like some dialogue at the end, but okay. In the leaves, ninja trained to use the mysterious arts of ninjutsu and genjutsu. It's basically ninja magic. Everything from shooting fireballs to messing with I your I wonder if some of these had but to be cut just aren't suited because like they were getting techniques. copyright claimed or something. During young Rock Lee's time at some the academy, of it seems abrupt. He feared his lacking in these arts meant he would never accomplish his dream of becoming a ninja. And then he met the one, the only, the bushy might guy! Yeah! Hey, what's shaking? How you doing, everybody? Life treating you good? Guy is one of the most respected and powerful ninja among the Hidden Leaf, but he certainly didn't start out that way. Yeah, he and his dad could never really make all that ninja magic work for them, so they decided to focus on the one thing they were good at. Punching people! Yeah! This is Taijutsu, or the ninja art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dedicating himself to this form over all else, Guy soon became a master in the Taijutsu style Strong Fist. Which hmm. translates to punching people really, <laughs> really hard. It's a fighting style that is literally all about breaking bones. Yeah, 
I'll take that over ninja magic, thank you. <laughs> That's not Would to say you? God couldn't perform uh, ninja magic. He's just not very skilled in it at all. Yeah, like a bunch of ninja can summon cool shit like tracking hounds or giant toads. Uh -huh. I can summon a turtle. That, What's wrong it. with the turtle? But mastering the strong fist style the tortoise is a anyway. to Guy's ability. Only the toughest people in the world can use it at all. Otherwise, it's uh, super dangerous. That's the big thing with Guy's style. Because he's got to make up for not having ninja magic, everything he does comes with a big risk, especially his ultimate technique. Right, Guy's father, Might Guy, was instrumental in helping him achieve the goal of becoming a, quote, splendid ninja. Okay. But he also taught him a skill which would prove to be both of their undoing, the Eight Gates. Wait, 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 wait. Someone named their kid Might Die? What, are you just hedging your bets for the future? Might Guy. I mean, die is dead. Well, then oh. I guess oh, the they dad. called it. Oh. The eight gates refer to the pathways within the human body which contain the flow of chakra, the life energy ninja use for their techniques. And, you know, to live. To simplify, by opening each gate, Guy essentially removes inhibitors on his body, greatly increasing his power, speed, and capability. Right. The first few gates are kind of safe, unlocking 100% of the body's ability. The second one even heals you a bit. But once you get past number four, things start getting real messy. At this point, Guy suffers horrible pain and severe muscle tearing. While the power increase is certainly worth the risk in a difficult fight, it's likely to put the user in the hospital afterward. After opening the sixth gate, he can move so fast his punches ignite the air around him. Wow. Meaning he can shoot fireballs from his <laughs> fists. That would be the morning peacock technique. To ignite the hydrogen in the air, Guy must be swinging at speeds more than 40,000 kilometers per hour. That's over five times faster than the X-15 rocket jet, the fastest airplane in the modern world. Wow. And once he opens the seventh gate, he can perform Daytime Tiger, where he throws a giant tiger's face at you. Hell yeah! This beautiful beast is strong enough to blow up an island! Awesome! While opening the seventh gate would prove fatal for most ninja, Guy is strong enough and skilled enough to wield it without such concern. However, when it comes to the final gate, there is no going back. Oh. In the eighth gate of death, Guy's power explodes. His blood boils, evaporating from his body. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that was some Super Saiyan energy aura around him there? Think again. It's his blood burning through his skin. Wow. Hardcore. Oh. Gross, but hardcore. Yeah. In this mode, Guy can perform the speedy evening elephant technique. But his most impressive ability is, without a doubt, Night Guy. Okay, Might Guy, Might Die, and Night Guy? Who's yeah. coming up with this shit? <laughs> this attack was powerful enough to decimate Madara, one of the deadliest villains in the Naruto universe. Madara could take on Naruto, who had enough chakra to blow a hole through the moon. Sure, Night Guy's still not as powerful as Naruto once the kid goes all gold and glowy, uh -huh. but he's definitely above Jiraiya's big ball Rasengan carving up a mountain, or Obito <laughs> raising up a giant tree like a crazy reverse lumberjack. Despite all this risk, Guy proved himself an equal to some of the greatest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, including his longtime rival Kakashi, who was fast enough to catch lightning from a distance. Measuring the space Kakashi had to cover here and the speed of lightning itself, he must have moved over 700,000 meters per second, more than 2,000 times faster than sound. Wow. But in the end, even though he knew the Eighth Gate meant the ultimate sacrifice, he did it anyway like a boss to protect his friends. He did get lucky though, because Ninja Jesus showed up to keep him alive. Yeah, Ninja Jesus! No wonder he's always got a smile on his face. But handicapped from then on, Guy's days of combat were finally over. Aww. At least for the time being. Oh. Still, <laughs> even if this was to be his last mission, Guy had already found a worthy successor. A shining example of what it means to be a splendid ninja. Yay. Just like himself. Dynamic <laughs> entry! <laughs> I'm not a fan of the dub personally, but hey, all you right, know, the teach their own. And we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, it's, it's time, time for a death, death battle. battle and pause. Wow, that was so fast. Why is everything so abrupt this episode? I think my guy is actually going to win this one. I was surprised, but like I well like here's here's what I mentioned, right? I mentioned that later on in the Naruto verse became more powerful than My Hero Academia as it currently is. And, I mean, even if My Hero Academia got more powerful, unless All Might is going to participate in that and also grow more powerful, or at least show that he's more powerful than we, we've seen him, 
you know, the Naruto verse is just more powerful overall. And my guy was participating at that point, fighting against like the strongest villain. And I didn't know that he had, well, I didn't know what all those gates did. I knew that he taught Rock Lee that technique, but I didn't know what all those did or what that last gate entailed kind of thing, you know? I didn't know about Kakashi's like the catching lightning feet and how fast he would have to move to that. And that, you know, Guy is considered equivalent to Kakashi in that regard, at least. And so like, I think that that was faster than like the, you know, All Might going down the spit, uh, the spares, the stairs speed feet, you know? Um, and so just all in all, it actually seems like when my guy goes through those extra gates, that he becomes more powerful than All Might. And, you know, All Might, he has different techniques, he can do different things, but they're all basically just variations of the same, right? Just, you know, some different effects to him. Whereas Might, even if he doesn't have, like, a lot of skill in, like, Genjutsu and things like that, he does have the capability. You know, he can summon some things, he can, like, poof, that sort of deal. So, yeah, uh, the analysis portion actually convinced me that my guy is going to win this one. So, play. Hmm? Ah, he's reading. Huh? My Hero Academia, that's cool. Don't worry! I am here! <laughs> so cool! The amazing costume, those bursting muscles, that magnificent hair. You must be a worthy opponent. For an arm wrestling contest. Okay. I accept your challenge. How are they going to try to kill each other? I can't lose. How has the table survived that when, like, the ground has already gone away? You're inspiring, but no one can defeat the symbol of peace! So they both really like each other, so they're gonna try to kill each other. Give me your best shot. I won't hold back. That's a promise. Fair enough. Dynamic entry. Nice trick. My turn. Excellent. You can take a hit well, but what are you really made of? You're good, you got this. He hasn't even gone into a single gate yet. Moves like that are cool. Oh, we just jumped straight to six. I mean, I guess that's fair. That would take a long time otherwise. Got the last gate. We still got the last. Oh. Never give up. Eighth gate of death. Open. Is he okay with the hole in his chest? <laughs> uh, 
I guess so. Still more. Bring it on. Do it again. He he's dead. He's dead, guy. He can't do it again. <laughs> Looks like All Might might not be all right. No, nope. well, All Might was an incredibly powerful and inspiring hero. But then again, the same could be said for Guy. All Might was super strong with plenty of good training. Without his gates, Guy wouldn't have stood a chance. Right. Yes, Keep in mind I agree that with that. All Might's feats we covered were performed while he was in an injured state. So for this comparison, we multiplied each result by 60 as per All Might's own estimation of his power. Okay, for that's example, fair. For example, remember how he was similar to Gigantomachia, who busted a hole through a freaking mountain? By scaling the mountain to the pine trees beneath it, it's easy to deduce the blast necessary for this would it's be so about easy to deduce gigatons that. of TNT. Come on. <laughs> With the multiplier, that would be 150 gigatons in All Might's prime. That's 3,000 times stronger than the biggest nuke that's ever been set off. But okay, here's the thing. okay. Even with the multiplier, we know Guy was faster. And while they've both learned to fight a wide variety of opponents, Guy was trained all his life and boasted a more versatile set of abilities and techniques. Mm -hmm. So with that much speed and skill, Guy already had a pretty good advantage. So long as he could hit All Might harder than All Might could hit him. Right. So to answer that, let's check their strongest attacks. All Might's greatest known feat would be the moment his smash created a massive storm, one that extended beyond the horizon. By taking the average mass of a thunderstorm, which is huge, and the 10 <laughs> seconds it took for All Might Smash to create it, this comes out to a little over 24 gigatons of TNT. Okay. In his prime, this punch would equal over 1,440 gigatons. 28! thousand times stronger than the biggest nuke okay just one punch 28 oh, times hell. unfortunately it's impossible to lock down a specific number in this way for guys oh, attack night guy however we can scale them to similar characters we know to be at lesser levels in this case base form naruto God damn, base we can form naruto away from this little twerp can we well night guy did serious damage to madara whom naruto's normal ability stood no chance against Obviously, Naruto gains a lot more power when he accesses Sage Mode, Karama's Chakra, Six Paths powers, etc. Of course, but yeah. Night Guy is certainly more powerful than Naruto's base form at the end of the series. You know that hole in the moon we mentioned? That was made by pulling all of Naruto's base chakra out of his body and blowing it up. And I mean all of it. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. We've actually covered this before, and that blast was 480 Is that the same as his strength, that's though? Peloton, you ask? That's well, just all of his life energy. It seems different. That's for sure. Simply put, the gap in power put Guy several leagues above All Might. Also, Guy's superior speed ensured All Might couldn't avoid such a blow when it really mattered. Like, you know, in, in a fight to the death. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Guy using the eighth gate means he'll die later, but he still won the battle before that would happen. And that's still a victory. Yeah, All Might that was remarkably powerful and certainly a challenge for Guy. But with his gates opened, Guy had the speed, versatility, and power to take him out for good. It was a mighty tough battle for all, but All Might wasn't a match for one powerful guy. Cool. The winner is Mike Guy. Claps for Mike Guy. Nice, nice, very nice. Hey, thanks for joining us for another season of Where Go Are Go You? Don't go away. We're about ben! to reveal when the next season starts. Ben! The battle track from this episode. You can get it in the link below. You there? More videos Bigger and better. Cool. Well, I mean, y'all have already been watching season seven, I know, but I guess now I don't know what's coming next because there was no next time. But I'll I'll just check the playlist and find it. So to talk about this one, I enjoyed that. So I'm glad that I was able to pick up, at least because of you know Might's analysis, that he was indeed stronger. You know, once we got into like all that gate stuff, mostly the death gate, the final gate, it was like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, fighting like uh, Madara or whatever. Um, yeah, it, it made sense to me. Like, and, it, and I guess it never really occurred to me that like All Might doesn't have a second form. That's just him. He's got like a skinny mode or his bulky mode. 
<laughs> and that's just all might. Um, but I, I do appreciate them having taken his feats and multiplied them by 60, I think they said. Um, you know, to account for, like they like they also said, All Might's own estimation. Um, so that was cool, just to try to bridge that gap as best they could, because, yeah, with the anime that we've seen, that's not him at his peak. He's great, he's still awesome and amazing, but not him at his peak. So I thought it was cool that they tried to account for that as best they could. I, I do question a little bit the whole, like, Naruto's, like, normal chakra bleeding because like what does that even mean for his normal chakra because like he's affected by QB. like that's isn't that where he gets his giant pool of chakra i thought it was it i i, I don't know i'm probably missing something because again it's been a long time and i didn't see that far into the anime but even if that is his normal pool of chakra i don't know how that relates so much to like my guy's own capabilities you know, it's pulling just pure energy, his entire, like, life's worth. Not, not like, you know, from, like, being born to that age, but I mean, like, his life energy, you know. Um, pulling that out of him and using that as a bomb, basically, compared to someone throwing punches and stuff, you know? Like, it seems different to me. Um, and so that's not to say, even if we, you know, like, disregard that, it still seemed to me like my guy was stronger in his, like, you know, full Gates form than All Might. Um, but I don't really understand that feat and how they applied it. I don't know. As for the animation in this fight, um, I will admit, a lot of it seemed awkward to me. Like, first, just the character sprites themselves, um, they seemed a little bit out of place in the environment that they were they were placed in. Um, you know, it was very much, like, you could tell they were models ripped from video games, right? And so, they have to be, right? And that's fine, but it did make them look like, like a video game fight. <laughs> and, you know, that's whatever. Um, but... But yeah, they just looked kind of awkward against the backdrop, and um, some of the some of like the movements and facial expressions and that kind of thing too was a little bit awkward. But it was very entertaining. Like the characters themselves were both charming. Um, I was wondering how they were going to make it so like these two super friendly, I want to protect the people kind of guys would um, would start fighting each other to the death. And it was it was a bit of a stretch maybe, but it was an interesting way for sure to have them do it like. Oh, I like the looks of you. Let's have an arm wrestling contest. And then they just escalated from there. Like, sure, why not? Like, like they're not going to go bloodlusty on each other. And there's no reason for, like, one to get defensive, like other, you know, characters have in the past, um, and then start a fight that way. So, like, I guess that made sense <laughs> that it was really just a matter of, like, they they were really impressed with each other and just kept escalating and escalating and escalating to see who was the strongest. Um, it, it was amusing. Uh, but yeah, I, I really liked, you know, my guy as a character, specifically from the sub. I don't like dubs too much. I find them awkward. They make characters that I enjoy seem cringy. And I'm so if you like them that way, that's awesome. More power to you. It's just not for me. But, oh, and, and All Might too, because I mentioned I like my guy. I really like All Might as a character too. So it was enjoyable to see the two of them here and to really get a feel for their own capabilities. And, you know, obviously to see some cool fight choreography associated with that. It was enjoyable. So let me know what you all thought about this death battle in the comments below, whether you liked it, whether you disliked it, what you thought about this or that, etc. so on and so forth. And I guess I will see you all when I start to watch season seven. So that's the end of this video. With that, we're calling it here.